This is just another quick update for you guys to see what I'm working on. This is the fuel pickup assembly and uh, fuel level sender assembly out of my 1996 F-150. After putting the digital instrument cluster in for testing, I noticed some issues with the fuel gauge. I originally thought the bulk of them was going to be attributed to the fuel sloshing around in the tank, but after doing some more testing, I was having more than just that issue. What was going on is that I would lose communication with the sender. I checked all the wiring, all the wiring seemed good, and I checked everything right at the harness for the fuel pump and the fuel level sender, and I was having the same issue there. So I decided to go ahead and drop the tank out, which was a pain in the butt, and pull the sender out and see what's going on with it. So right now I have it hooked up to my meter here. It's measuring ohms, and I have one wire on the yellow wire to the sender, and the other uh, lead to the meter is clamped right here on the metal part of the uh, fuel level sensor. The way this sensor is, when the tank's empty, it's supposed to read 22 ohms, which we're about at that right now. And when the, the fuel tank is full, we're supposed to read the close to 145 ohms. So I'm going to move the wiper assembly and watch what happens. See, it's going up like it should, but oh, what's that? My meter's gone into overload, which means there's an open circuit on the ohms circuit. And I can actually make it do it if I pull this out like that. Well, now it's not going to do it. And there, there you go. Now I can push it in and we're getting a reading here. So this thing, as they call it, is being dicky. See, it's just not being consistent when I move the arm. It's jumping all over the place. Now the factory fuel gauge will absorb some of that because it, the movement's very damp and that's just the nature of how Ford built the gauge. Uh, you can change the change the reading going to the gauge and the needle doesn't move that very, very much. So if there's just a little bit of noise on here, that gauge will absorb it. But this is this is beyond ridiculous. This shouldn't even do this. If this was a position sensor on your engine, like a throttle position sensor, you'd have to throw it in the garbage because it's not going to work good. See, I just let it drop back down. It should be reading 22 ohms, but again, it's open. See, yep. If I hold my tongue just right, I can get it. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys so you see what I'm running up against. Um, my next step is to replace the sender assembly. And with the truck having over 300,000 miles on it, and I'm unsure of the history, I might just go ahead and replace the whole thing so I get a whole new fuel pump and everything. But we'll get this fixed up and we'll get back on the digital cluster. Thanks for watching and I appreciate your support.